just that. Wait a minute, who's going to be the owner of this thing? I don't know. service uh, requirement. Excellent. Next bike. Thank you. 
You're the man. You're the man. Whatever my needs come with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, wasn't a bad bike. No, no, they're tanks. Yep. They are tanks. Mark got answered easy. That's All it. All you do is look down. That's it. You got any Okay. That will be in the right meeting in a more time. They'll all be together on the second day, so it won't matter now. You know, you're on your own there. Yes, I did. Hey, what's happening? Hey, all right, all right. No doubt. See, I've got to show these. Behind the and I got thanks for spinning. No, I'm serious, man. It's a hoot. It's like straight out of the 70s. You'll think you got bell bottoms on it. You'll be freak out. Got my 81 KC 1000. Oh, you were better, yeah. No uh, doubt. No doubt. <laughs> That's much newer. Marlon, you got the best collection of bikes. Oh, they're so fun. I mean, you know, just an ugly bike, you can have a home with my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 750 with a drum rear brake. You don't find many of those. <laughs> he thinks he's on a hot ride until he comes up against one of those, uh, what is it, Kawasaki? Anything. Yeah, yeah, any of them, man. Yeah, no yeah, doubt. No doubt. Yeah, oh man, I got one. I got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those four yeah. 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 are my reamers, aren't they? Is it running? No, it's run. It's got a big crash and it's got the car. Yeah, thanks. It's got the car for Okay, he uh, he wrote a last year on uh, 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 yeah. uh, I don't know. Just the ratio. Oh, I know. I know. That's good. Man. I'm just too lazy. <laughs> Fifty to one. Yeah, that's it. Oh man, it's poured it in. Right now we're okay, thank you. We'll do a 
go ahead and get them a shirt first you know it's not no thing but don't get me wrong i'll definitely like to have one if there's any left over Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, get her up there. Ah, the guts. <laughs> 
Ooh, that's very good. Isn't that fun? This kind of thing you want to see in the mail. Turn you with gut hanging out. Good morning, Mark. This is it. Hey, I wonder if he shaves that. <laughs> wonder what if he shaves that gut. <laughs> isn't it, isn't it? He's always talking about shaving his butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Happy day. Hey, I heard you got it. I think I am. I think I am. Great. They're, they're waiting for you. Are they? Iowa, yeah. You know if you're out of the hole, you know what you want to do. We didn't do that. When you get to the desk, you got to go fire them. No. You know, I took some of this five years before I realized we had t-shirts. I don't know which of my buddies like They're helmet cams. And, and y'all seen the pictures? They're good. I like the no visor. Hey, man, that's what you need.
Apparently, we're going to have a radio at the, uh, the checkpoint. Tom Pendergrass and that big white van will be at the checkpoint. He's going to stop all the groups there, make you group back up. He's going to look down the road both ways and send you across very quickly. Uh, these guys are running 60-ton trucks. They get paid by the load. Uh, they won't even feel you if they run over you. <laughs> they aren't stopping. Uh, stay off the dam, the levees, um, particularly around the mine stuff. They do a lot of work with trying to stabilize those banks. Uh, I think they've also done a lot of work with putting big rocks in places where you can't get on it. But uh, just be careful on what the, what signs you leave that we were here, particularly in areas where somebody else can see it. Uh, you get out in the woods and you want to roost somebody behind you, nobody's going to see that, and that's fine, except the guy behind you. But if you're on a place where there's a public to be there, take it easy, be cool, and uh, be good. Uh, and like again, we got permission from the mine. We got two mines. We've got 12 landowners that give us permission to ride this. Uh, this is a one-day event, two-day event only, once a year. You can't come back next week, next month, and ride this stuff. Just can't do it. If you do, you get caught, and we're history. Riding with a group. Everybody does that, just like trail riding with your buddies. You gotta wait for the guy, make sure the guy behind you makes the turn. He's looking to you, or he may miss the ribbon. So you're responsible for the guy behind you making the turn. You blow through that turn, he, he doesn't know where to go. Your group's gonna be scattered, your group leader's gonna be PO'd at you, and your whole group's gonna be waiting out there for a guy. So it, it works good if you just do it. Every five, six, eight, ten turns, the group leader's going to stop and group, the, group together, uh, make sure we didn't lose, lose anybody, and he'll move on again. Uh, group leaders know they should not be passing groups as, if they're moving. The groups in front of you, don't pass them. You get two groups intermingled, nobody knows who belongs to who, and it, it can turn into a real mess. You don't realize if you miss one. If the group in front of you stops and you want to pass them, pass them. If they're stopped at a corner, picking their nose, pass them. And we do that well. And I got that on tape. I know. <laughs> We're going to edit a lot of this. We are taping some of this stuff today. Uh, Harley's doing some uh, video taping for us. We're going to try to get a helmet camera out there uh, this weekend sometime. So if you get a photo opportunity, you can ham it up for it. It may get, be left on the cutting room floor, but uh, maybe not. There may be two versions of this tape. Three. Three. <laughs> uh, we'd like everybody to, to move up to as far up in the groups as possible. They think they can. It's a lot easier to move back a group than to move forward a group. If you pick a group too fast, tell your group leader you're over your head. He'll stop and wait for the next one or two groups, and he'll move you back, and then his group will go on. It's impossible to move forward almost until uh, tonight. Uh, you might be able to do some jockeying. Talk to your group leader tonight if you want to move forward or backwards, and he'll try to work that out. Uh, big news tonight is uh, we do have the country club. Happy day! Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Nice you want. No wrinkles. Uh, what else? Mix me store. Uh, Take place. A lot of you have been there. Yeah, Same yeah, story. My son, too, but we're sorry. Today is the we're only day that you can get an auction. Auctioneer, auctioneer there. So they got an auction going on up there. It's going to be crowded. It's going to be a mess. No place to park. You're going to let the bikes in. Uh, park on the grass behind the store. So what you do is you go through, get your gas, uh, push your bikes out of there quickly. Park them in the back. He's got extra help in to do deal with our sandwiches. But uh, don't be hanging around. Don't leave your bike in the pumps. Get them in there and get them out. What's your language there? He's a Baptist minister or something. Methodist. Methodist. No smoking, no drinking, no cussing. Uh, he's a good guy, though. He used to ride motorcycles. Uh, he doesn't fight too. What else, George? Uh, if you leave your vehicle here tonight and you're
blocking one of the electrical uh, outlets, they may charge you for electric tonight. Uh, that's up to you if you want to move it, if you want to pay the bill. Uh, we're not involved. A lot of you also remember, so we would suggest that you move your vehicle away from the electric site. Parking over there is, is ours if you want to put it there. Uh, some of you remember the fiasco we had last year. There's a chance of rain again today and tomorrow. If you look at some of the tables, you'll see how high the water was last weekend. There's grass on the tables up to the seats. A few of us are going to move up to the uh, starting gate, park our vehicles where we were last year, ended last year, just to get them out of here. Uh, we're warning you now because we are not coming back tonight. I did that last year. It was a mess. Be safe. Move your vehicles. Uh, if you break down on the course, your group leader is going to come back look for you. He's going to try to fix you if he can. Uh, he's trying to tow you out if he can. Like sponsors, they've, they've donated a lot of door prizes that we'll get to tonight. And a lot of this stuff, too, goes to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, also, any repairs that we do during the day, we would like, you know, before in the past, it's always been free, and it's still the same way. But if you can, we'd like you to donate to Make-A-Wish. You know, I don't know if you're familiar with the cause, but it's a real good cause, and we're trying our best to help those people out. Um, also, too, uh, in two weeks, um, there's another dual sport ride down Daniel Boone in Kentucky. Paul Jordan, he's here. If you need any questions, he'll inform you on the event. Paul's right there with Pat, and uh, they'll be out here all weekend. So if you have any questions, ask Pat or Paul. And if anybody needs any good recipes, ask Pat. She's like the world's best cook. And then also, too, that same weekend, there's another ride up in New Hampshire. So that's kind of going on. And other than that, that I think is, on my part, like I said, uh, Moose Off-Road, they've been very helpful. Um, even though I have the Suzuki truck and mostly Suzuki parts, Moose has uh, made a few other parts available to me, so you know, like shifters and things like that. So, And then a lot of times we can be creative and uh, fix it with whatever we got here. But hopefully you guys will make it easy on me this week. And um, I heard that. Hey, man, you got a clutch cable for a water buffalo? <laughs> <laughs> so you got a water buffalo, you need more than a clutch cable. <laughs> But anyways, I want you guys to have fun this weekend, and like I said, if we can help you out, stop by and um, let me know. That's right. <laughs> that does uh, bring up a point, though. So, uh, if you're not used to riding out here, a lot of guys uh, come out here with a little bit less air pressure than they might or should have. Uh, check with your group leaders. Make sure you got enough air before you leave. A lot of guys are running uh, 14, 16 PSI. It does eliminate some of the flat tires. Cool looking trophy trail.
Excellente.
Official styling, type guy kind of thing. Jail. You look good. You look like a convict. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look like a convict. I'm hey, impressed. Did Mark Hyde have any parts for your bubble? No, but I was keeping him honest. <laughs> What'd you ask for? Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.